A few weeks ago, I asked the Divine Nadi scriptures, how can I get a mantra into the blood? The reason why I asked uh, this question was that people, I know that the mantras work. If they do it regularly, uh, this mantra will work. And uh, if they spend an hour a day, it certainly will work. But to get people to commit to that uh, one hour uh, time period is impossible, for in most cases anyway. And then there are thoughts coming and distracting them. They can't even sit in meditation for five minutes. So I explained to this, to the, the problem and asked the divine scriptures, is there any other way of doing it? And the answer was surprising. They said, yes, you can do that. Every mantra represents an energy, a god or a goddess behind it. And if you can, and these gods or goddesses have a, a plant origin, they all have a plant basis. They were either a tree or a plant. And if you can take uh, the fruits or the leaves or the roots of this plant, then you can get the mantra into the blood of people and then the god or the angel then begins to live in that uh, person's consciousness and along with it if they chant a few times then the mantra will work and uh, I, I found this information very useful very scientific also uh, so this is exactly what I am doing in Srim Rizhi's case. I know that Srim Rizhi is a wealth mantra, but people have difficult time to chant or remember Srim Rizhi. So what can you do? Can you somehow get this into uh, people's blood without them having to chant for hours? Yes. Then I had to go and identify the plant that represents Srimrizi and that is the turmeric root, curcumin root. The, that represents the Lakshmi, other goddess of wealth. So uh, it just came to me in my meditation two days ago, but I should create uh, this uh, through number botanicals, the shrimp brazi uh, uh, infused uh, turmeric. So that's going to be available, and uh, I'm very happy about this finding. And if those of you who are interested in knowing more about this technology, just go and look at uh, the plant basis of Greek gods and goddesses, and even uh, and also, I should say, tell you, so I just want uh, Jesus to get into my body. Uh, what do I do? They said, there, is there a plant for Jesus? They said, yes, it is olive. Then I started researching it and then how uh, Jesus is uh, uh, represented by the olive tree. There's a lot of references to how Jesus went and stayed a lot of time with the, uh, with the olive trees and then uh, um, and Jesus' life is very much connected with uh, the olive tree. Then I went even beyond to the Genesis and then to Noah and Noah was, uh, you know, during that flood, he was saved uh, to go to a, a place where uh, he was saved from the uh, flood. And then uh, Noah sent a dove to find out if the flood has receded. Uh, the second time the word came with uh, uh, an olive uh, 
fresh olive leaf uh, in her mouth. Okay, so uh, the divinity of olive goes back even to the Greek times. Shreem, Rizhi and uh, turmeric are the same. And it is easy to get Shreem, Rizhi into your blood through the consumption of, uh, of uh, this uh, turmeric. And uh, I'm very excited about this technology. And, and even without knowing all this background, divinely I was inspired to infuse the herbs with uh, uh, the sounds, with the phonemes. And these phonemes represented the energy behind the herb and behind the uh, gods and angels uh, who represented them. So I'm delighted that uh, this will uh, be produced soon so that you can uh, monitor yourself how your prosperity changes uh, with uh, the herb uh, the, that's going to be available and then we are going to put stream Rizzi into these herbs. Uh, the turmeric. God bless.